If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video and today we're going to cover specific points from the latest Age of Triumph stream which is not long finished but damn was it fucking epic. Now I will post two or three videos covering everything worth knowing from this stream so make sure you are sub so you don't miss a single one. Okay, so we're going to start off this set of videos with the new raid weapons, the changes coming to them and everything you need to know because a lot of people still seem to be a little confused about what's actually happening with these new weapons and the elemental burns uh, they will offer and what they won't offer. Okay, so all four raids, the Water Glass, Crota's End, King's Fall and Wrath of the Machine, these raids will offer elemental primary weapons. But these weapons will be adept, exotic versions of the standard weapons which will be legendary and not offer elemental burns. So in simple man's terms, in the new updated 390 light level vault glass, you can obtain two versions of these primary weapons. One which will be legendary and not offer elemental burns. Uh, but you can also obtain exotic versions of these legendary red weapons which will be adept versions and offer elemental burns so the fate bringer can drop as a legendary with no burns but it can also drop as an exotic version being adept and offering arc burn these elemental exotic weapons though i do believe are only obtainable when the raid is featured as a weekly ritual so you will not be able to get the adept elemental exotic fate bringer if the water glass is not the featured weekly raid now I made a video yesterday talking about this new Fate Bringer we saw in the Age of Triumph teaser we got a few days back and speculated about it being an exotic version. Now I don't want to say I told you so but... So yes, weapons from these raids will offer elemental versions, but they will be exotics. This includes the Wrath of the Machine and King's Fall, raids which didn't previously offer elemental primaries at all, so that's a good thing. The adept exotic versions of these primary weapons from these raids will offer a different look from the standard versions. The Vault Glass exotic adept versions will have a silver and gold colour scheme. I noticed this with the Wrath of the Machine adept weapons too, offering a kind of reddish look. I didn't notice any real difference to the Crota's End and King's Fall weapons though, but I could be wrong. Other things you may be wondering about, like previous raid exotics and other weapons. Okay, so to start, the Black Hammer will not be making a return. This is basically the legendary version of the Black Spindle, the Black Spindle being the Year 2 exotic version of the Black Hammer. The Black Hammer was a sniper rifle which was amazing, it was a legendary and it dropped from the Crota's end raid, I think it's when you defeated Crota on normal mode. The weapon was so good they remade it as an exotic in year 2, but unfortunately when the Crota's end raid returns with the Age of Triumph on the 28th of March, the Black Hammer will not be making a return. Quoting what they said on stream, they said it was too good to bring back. The Vex Mythal class will return with a new ornament and still offer solar burn but changes to the weapon itself have not been made which is kind of unfortunate. This is something I actually wanted to see happen. I mean the Vex Mythal class for me is a shadow of its former self and I was hoping for a minute buff but it is what it is. Also changes have been made to the Necrochasm, this being the exotic weapon obtainable from the Crota's end raid. Back in year 1 you needed the Crux of Crota to get the Necrochasm, I'm not sure that's the case now in year 3 as it was not mentioned by Bungie. A big change to the Necrochasm though which is amazing is the fact that any kill now with the weapon will cause the target to explode. Before it had to be a precision shot to cause like a curse roll explosion, now it's any kill you get. And I also believe as well it still offers that arc burn, which is great. The Touch of Malice is back, well it didn't really go anywhere, but it does have a new ornament which you can see on screen now. So guys, plenty to grind for come 28th of March, which is this coming Tuesday. I'm going to do another video covering all the new armors coming with the Age of Triumph for those who want to see it, so stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for stopping by as always, subscribe if you are new around here, turn on the notifications so you never miss a video and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right, never
Captain Dog.